champions. Champions are forged. Destinies are fulfilled. What? Oh my god, bro. No. Right. Comeback stories never felt so good. Josh Ed. Yes! Oh, oh. yes! The stage is set with surprises at every turn. Oh! oh my god. God. <laughs> He's back! The best competitor. Absorber into your bosoms. But remember. Oh, we come back. If you like music, film, and TV, then I know exactly what you need. Welcome. 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 Welcome to Quiz Club. The Quiz Club. Quiz Club. Quiz Club. To Quiz Club. Dante wanted me to send a quick video to y'all. Welcome you to the show. I really don't give a shit personally. Watch it. Don't watch it. Do what you want. Psych, welcome to Quiz Club! Welcome everyone to Quiz Club 43, folks. This is the one year anniversary show, and it's even on brand because we had a, about three people we couldn't make on the episode today. But we're here for the second only time to have a Quiz Club triple threat for the solo title. Also, you're going to realize we have the points up here now, and Michaela's got 0.5. Actually, you know what? That's what you get. Anyways, welcome to Quiz Club. Now, uh, Michaela did get 0.5 points because she she uh, she, she basically just answered a, a trivia question in, in the pre-lobby. So that's how she got that point. But we're going to jump right into introducing our competitors because we have a stacked lineup. Even if it's three, we've got a stacked lineup. Folks, I will now introduce... This is, he is, I should say, a former Quiz Club champion and a former Quiz Club tag team champion. He is one of five people to win both the solo and the tag titles. I thought that was very interesting. Uh, this is his 11th Quiz Club appearance, and he has the seventh most career points scored in survival games. He is the legend. He is the man. He is the G. Ivan, the man. Ivan, welcome in. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course, pleasure. Well, thank you. Thank you for showing up. How are you doing, Ivan? <laughs> really good, really good. How about you? Nice. Um, you know what? It's it's a day. It's a morning. Mm -hmm. You know what, Ivan? Love having you here, man. I'm excited to have you here competing today on Quiz Club. Um, how you feeling, dude? This is a, this is a very intimate episode we got going on here. You were on the first ever Quiz Club. Um, so one year later, here you are on episode 43. How are you feeling going up against Caden and Michaela? Yeah, you know, it's it's always scary going up against very heavy hitters, you know, but one year anniversary, I felt like it's only natural I should show up, you know. Yeah. You have to. Got to show I support think. and I like being here, so good. make it a good game. Well, I'm glad I'm glad to have you here, Ivan. It's always a blast to have you here. I know you're a busy man over there in Vegas, but I'm I'm glad to have you here. Well, uh before before we get in, I know it's an intimate episode. Do you have any fighting words for your competitors today? Let's have fun, guys. Make it a good game. Let's have, make it a good game. Nice. I like to see a little good sportsmanship. I like to see it. All right. Well, Ivan, good luck to you, sir. I'm going to go ahead and send you back to the room. Good luck to you, good sir. Good luck, good luck. Next, he is making his Quiz Club return as well. He's a former four-time Quiz Club champion, one of three people to achieve that feat. He was the first ever Quiz Club champion and... He has a, or he is a former Quiz Club tag team champion as well. Uh, he holds the most career points scored in a Quiz Club in his in his career, a thousand three hundred seventy four point five points. That is absolutely insane. And today marks his twenty second Quiz Club appearance. That is the record for the most Quiz Club appearances. You could say he is the most experienced in this arena, folks. It is the king. King. Uh, I'm going by Big Blue now. Actually, aka the mouth, aka the eye. Thank you. <laughs> but you can just call me Big Blue. All right, Big Thank Blue. You. Big yes. Blue. How you? How you doing today? Good sir. I'm doing good. Feeling blue. I'm blue. Da ba You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah. Well, looks like we all woke up recently. All, yeah, all bro, of the competitors, even the host. No. Uh -huh. yeah, there you go. There you go. But Caden. Today's an intimate episode. You've been on these episodes before, mm. right? A triple threat. Mm. 
How was it the first time? And are you preparing for <laughs> Ivan and Michaela? It's just the three of you guys today. Um, what the first time was episode two. So this episode was two. a year you, ago. Uh, basically you a year in, ago. You, yeah, basically you came in Cowan. I, I couldn't. I, if this is the second time I've done triple threat, I gotta tell you, this is not. I'm not prepared. But what I will say is uh, that <clears throat> I'm a little nervous for Michaela because she be studying, dude. She be studying like like this is great, dude. And I gotta tell you, I was never. I never really cared about skill. So I'm gonna be real. I think I don't know what's gonna happen. I think I'm going down. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just here to. I'm just here to drink coffee and have fun. Nice as you should. As you should. Are you looking to reclaim that title, become a five-time champion? Woo! It's a chance. There's a, there's an opportunity for that for that baby right there. Five times. Right. Holy frick, dude! Yeah, I mean, I, I'll try. I always try. I never not try. I mean, I okay. So I just I I always try, but like I don't always go super hard when I try. Like there's sometimes, right? You know, what I mean, I will put like six out of 10 brain power into it. And that's usually, that's usually my minimum is like six out of 10, but all those times I was winning before was like a nine, was like a nine, 9.5 out of 10. And I've lowered it over the time because there's a lot, that's a lot of brain power, bro. I'd be sheepy. Yes, dude. Yeah, I'm sheepy. Dude. Nah, fair enough. Fair enough. You really be shooting it out the head. I like it. Well, Caden, mm-hmm. good luck to you. Good, sir. We'll see how today episode <laughs> treats you. Uh, I'm wishing you good luck. I'll send you back to the room. Thank you, good sir. Next, she is our current and four-time Quiz Club champion. Again, one of the three people, you you and Caden, to win the titles four separate times. She is tied for the best overall Quiz Club record at six and six. Tied. I will say she's tied with Ryan at five and five. Thought that was interesting. Uh, Michaela also has the second best Quiz Club points per game average. 88.8 points per game. Folks, we got to enter the champion, Michaela Eskew. Michaela, welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, it's always interesting hearing the statistics. I want to know what my, uh, all the points I've gotten throughout my career, because you have, I can literally look it up right now. Ready? Three, two, one, 1,066. That's how many points. Which is out of everyone who's played out of the 25 people who have played, that is ranked third most. Caden has the most. Who uh, no, it's actually you're actually two points ahead of Ryan. You he has points. Yeah. Okay, but he's played less episodes than I have. He has. That is true. Yep. Well, that one one episode where you had 185, that's really what what kicked. That's fair. That's like three episodes right there. Yeah. Uh, but I will say, uh, first place, Caden, with most points. And then Jake has the second most with 1,098. So you could easily pass him today if you get at least 33. 33, you surpassed Jake since he's not on today's episode. That would put you in second place. So Interesting. It is oh, interesting. Well, I'll try to get 33 points this. Uh, 33 points today. That's the goal. Nice. <laughs> okay, 33 cool. points. Well, Michaela, you hold the belt. You, yeah, you, you hold the title. You have you have a competitor in Caden that you know you've played with him already so far solo. Ivan, I think you've played with Ivan before as well in the solo oh, arena. Nice. You've even played it with him in the in the yes. USA versus Wales episode. Uh, how are you feeling now that it's only a triple threat today? How are you feeling going into today? Are you feeling confident? Or are you feeling a little worried that the chances are a little higher? Maybe I'm really tired and. <laughs> Uh, I didn't study as much for this episode just because I didn't have the time. I only did um, a little bit of the Rotten Tomatoes stuff, but you, I didn't study box office because you don't usually do the same game back to back weeks. So no point in studying the same thing twice. Just statistically, we'll it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like to I like to throw you off, Michaela. You like to you like to predict what I do, which sometimes you're right, but sometimes we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. You you have to play the system at least a little bit. I do, yeah, a little bit, just a little bit. So you have to look at the given rules and kind of just face your strategy off of that. But um, I mean, I still remember general ballparks from last week of the box office. So if that does come up, okay. I'm not too scared of it, but. We'll see. Nice. 
We'll see. We'll see indeed. I'm going to go ahead and invite the other competitors in. Welcome, y'all, to Quiz Club 43. Before we jump into the game, as always, we go over the rules. You know how this stuff goes. You want to show that competitiveness, and you want to have some fun, like Ivan said. No cheating. No cheating. No looking up answers. No asking people for answers. None of that good stuff. I will implement a rule. You do need something to write on. You cannot take notes on your phone, Mr. King. Or sorry. Blue. Bluey. Thank you. Big blue. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you need paper, Kate and I have paper and markers and pens right. and papers and pens and pencils and pens. Ah, oh, uh, also of sleeping with the host. I like that. There you go. Whoa, <laughs> sir. We don't talk about that here. Uh, anyways, and then also there are a couple rounds where I will need you to hold your phone up the entire time. That I will tell you Holy if that shit. happens today, but there will be rounds where you got to hold up your phone. Uh, next, you want to outwin your opponents and win the quiz club championship. Okay, do you mind shutting your door? Oh. Oh, I'm on my headset. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm uh, I'll mute my mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I'll win your opponents and win the Quiz Club Championship. Also, we have Joker points. Each competitor has a section of the quiz designated for them to earn up to double points. Now, it used to be uh, decided by a roll of die, but we changed it. We changed it. Now, Michaela, the Quiz Club champion, they have they hold the power to choose whatever round they'd like for double points, which is going to be very interesting. Now, Michaela, again, you can either choose your round, and then I roll the die for everyone else, or I can, or no, sorry, yes, I can either choose your round and then roll the die for everyone else, or you choose each competitor's round for them, and then I roll the die for you. That's not what Jake got last week. What did Jake get last week? You said he could do whatever. So he got to pick his round and the other competitors' rounds. You didn't roll for anyone. All right, Michaela. You know what? Touche. All right. Michaela, yeah, do you want to... All right, Michaela. Do you want to choose your round first or, or Caden and Ivan's first? I'll choose... Well, I'm going to go with Jake's strategy because he's usually the best strategy. Even okay. though it kind of messed him up last week. It kind of backfired. It really – It did lost backfire, the title. <laughs> but it's still a great strategy. So That's I'm going to go round three, and they're going to go together on round one. Ooh, all right. Michaela's taking round three by herself, hmm. leaving Ivan and Caden to share round one. It's be very interesting. We're going to see how that plays out, Cotton. I will continue to say that movie reference, and until someone tells me what movie it is, I will give them a point. But Can you say it again? We're going to see how well that plays out, Cotton. Nope. All right, cool. <laughs> we'll just keep, we'll keep the, I've been saying that for like the last 10 episodes now. But uh, <laughs> Ivan and Caden, Team Ivana Hump a lot all those years ago, um, mm. back in 68. Uh, you guys will be sharing round one. Michaela has round three for double points. We do have four rounds, so fourth round is always off limits. But we're going to jump right in to the quiz because this first round of quiz club it's a little nostalgia pop if anyone remembers the very first round we played on quiz club ever this made its very first appearance and it's making its very first appearance of the one year episode it is breaking bank oh, yeah. now this one's a pretty fun one i give you guys ebay listings i try to be as specific as the listing says you guys uh, basically guess and write down what you think uh, the base price is for that, not including shipping. You do not have to include shipping. And that's how Breaking Bank is played. All right. I absolutely hate this game, so I'm glad it's not my double points. <laughs> nice. I don't All mind right. this one. <laughs> it's my well, least favorite start. round. <laughs> <laughs> we will start. Uh, the first item. I love me some good old, good old these bad boys right here. I love me some good old Funko Pops. This first item is a, spoiler alert, Gus Fring from Breaking Bad Funko Pop. Good condition. And the li listing says rare. Rare. Bro, well, the tag says 170, which tells me it's way like less than that. But that looks like yen, too. That looks like that's there's no way. I think it's less than that. I think someone bought it at that price and was like, back, and then started to get their money back. <laughs> so I will say also, yes, the tag is a good. Indicator, that's good catch, Caden. Also, uh, Pops, Funko Pops don't have that casing on them, just usually. Like this one, this one does not have that casing on it. 
-hmm. like the the clear little protector on it. This one does. So maybe that adds something to it because it's, mm -hmm. but it's also good condition. It's not great condition. Keep that in mind as well. Give you guys a few seconds to go ahead and write that. Uh, at five points to whoever's closest, 10 points if you are within a single US dollar of the price. But we're going to go ahead and check to see what you guys said. Let's start with Ivan. Ivan, what did you say? For the I went with 85. 85 bucks. 85 bucks. Michaela? I said 62. 62. King Caden, or Blue. Sorry, Big Blue. Thank you. I'm Big Blue. 50 bucks for Gus. Uh, middle's bad place to be. Middle is a bad place to be, but I will say five points because no one was no one was close. No one was close. Five points to Ivan. That is 124.95. Wow. That listing is. That is five points to Ivan. Uh, 10 Sorry. points. This is a double point round. That is such a good catch. Good thing you I pointed that out because I forgot. Good thing you pointed that out as well. Yep. That is 10 points to be Ivan. Be fair. I appreciate that. I pre if it was Ryan Wayne, I don't think he would have said anything. So that's he's why he's the him. villain. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. All right. Uh, next item. This is uh, a, here we go. Another Funko Pop. Same show, Breaking Bad, Breaking Big. It is the Heisenberg Funko yeah. Pop. This is rare, retired, and vaulted, the mm. listing says. That's all the listing says. So go ahead and tell me what you guys think. Uh, well, bake a cake, uh, Brian Cranston Jr. We're gonna start with you, Big Blue. What'd you say? Fifty-six dollars for a Heisenberg. Fifty. Wait, does that say sixty-five or fifty-six? No, I'm sorry, I mean sixty-five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, Thought I was dyslexic there for a second. All right, uh, Michaela. I said a hundred. Hundo, Mr. Ivan G. I said uh, two hundred three dollars. Woo! Two hundred. Dang. Well, I will say. <laughs> this got really close, but I think the 200 kind of overshot it. It is 129.95. Ooh. That is five points to Michaela. Very good stuff. Very good stuff, Michaela. Very good stuff. Cool. Cool. 5.5, Michaela. 10, Ivan. All right, next item. Uh, with the movie being released yesterday, and I'm really upset that I had to work, uh, it is Super Mario Bros. that came out, obviously. Go see yeah, it if, you're see not, if, you, if you guys would We're like. We're seeing it today. Tonight. Tonight. Okay. Well, let's go. Uh, senior, this is senior stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make the ushers uh, do it. That's true. That's a good point. Pick up after yourselves. Uh, it is going to be the 1989. This is vintage Super Ooh. Mario TV tray. Condition is used. If you guys remember, I don't know if you guys ever had one, but TV trays you used to eat when you when you were in middle school, just sitting at the at the on the couch or in bed. Mm. Uh, this is a vintage 1989 Super Mario TV tray. It mm -hmm. is used. I'm assuming clean, <laughs> but it's been used, used and abused. Whoa, Ivan, we're gonna start with you, good sir. How much for the vintage tray? With seventy three dollars. 73, Michaela. I said $22. 22. Uh oh. Kaden? It's not my name. Sorry, <laughs> Big Blue. Big Blue. Big Blue. $100 for the money. $100. All right. Ivan, what did you say again? 73. Michaela? 22. Uh oh. 22. 22. 73. Ivan, 73. Yeah. 22. All right. I'm going to need help with math. I need you guys to be honest. It is okay. very close between the two of you guys. 49.99. Closer to 50. Mm -hmm. I think he's Seven. closer. No. You're 22 apart, Michaela. I can't figure out math for Ivan. Hmm. 73 minus 49.99. For only forty nine ninety nine, you too can own this vintage Mario TV that tray. Is, so <laughs> that is five points to Michaela. You guys were a dollar off. Michaela was twenty two. Ivan, you were twenty three and a cent. Mm. Just five points to Michaela. Very good. Hey. That was close. That's why I couldn't figure it out. I was like, "What's going on here?" I don't know about you, Ivan, but that feels like systematic racism to me. But <laughs> that's none of my business. <laughs> Oh, right. yes. 
Uh, next item. Uh, this is, I'm assuming it's not been used because that'd be nasty. It is a, uh, oh. <laughs> this is a Mario Candy 2003 unopened from Germany. Very rare. I'm assuming it hasn't been taken out and sucked on. So I'm assuming it's still in the packaging. <laughs> <Brother. today. laughs> I assume it's still in good, good top shape. It's probably stale, but it's, <laughs> it's Mario Candy nonetheless. How much do you think this Mario Candy from 2003 from Germany? It's very rare. How much do you think that That's is? That's a biohazard, bro. Let's go ahead and take some answers. Katie, what'd you say? <laughs> Big Blue. What'd you think? $20 for 20, the Mario 20, again. 20 bucks. Michaela? I said, uh, sorry, 32 and I God hope that it's $0 if someone <laughs> sucks on it. <laughs> 32 Ivan? I said uh, $12. $12. Well, I can't. I will say five points. To Michaela, 39. Nice. Jesus, she's still on our double points Good round, Lord. bro. She is taking your double points. What's going on here, y'all? But Loki, if she points. had the double points, she'd be killing She had double more. It would be a different ball. That is game. very true. Different ball. GTA, also, if you guys want to take a look at yeah. that. Points. There you go. All right, next item. This is with the movie coming out two weeks ago, I think. Three weeks ago. Who knows? Uh, this is a 1979. Dungeons and Dragons. Whoa. This is the original box. Super rare. Now this, I can only show one picture, but this has all of the rules to the D&D game uh, that it was in 1979. So this mm. is original. This is super rare. I wonder what how many mean? rules have changed since then. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the fact that you this can't cast Fireball so on my wizard storm unless you roll a seven die. That's the new rule, Jared. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Get a life. <laughs> oh, oh, that's cool. Nice. Look at that. Nice. Learn something new nice. every day. Oh, oh, that's not it. There we go. Cool. It's also covering Caden's face. There we it go. It drives me insane when you do the bracket and you can't see anyone's face. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like the side of someone's head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to take some answers. Uh, Ivan, what'd you say? Oh, hold up. Oh. There we are. What'd you say? Uh, let's see. 167. 167. Michaela? I'm afraid I went too high now. Uh, I said 352. 352. Oh, sure, went too low. Big blue. I know. 100 bucks. $100 bill. Well, but I can't say. Anything for anything, dude. It's probably that like is a good. Grand. That is $979. I was pretty sure it would be a ridiculous price because, like, Dungeons and Dragons fans are, are like... It. They're into it. They're really into it, yeah. And, and that OG is another set. five points. OG set. Wow. Thank God five this wasn't points. your double points round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> another five points to Michaela. We have one more item. Let's make sure to get the double points there, gentlemen. Uh, next item. This is the last item. I love me. Some good steel books. I had to throw in some steel books in this round. This is, oh, let me get rid of that real quick. This is the first through third films John Wick steelbook ah. collection. Uh, mm. This is condition like new. Uh, now I see there's the first John Wick, John Wick chapter two. There's the bottom left, which is a two film collection, which has the both the first two films. And then the, the bottom third, I think that's the third movie, and then the third movie in the middle. I, honestly, I don't know why they have like five different cases for like three movies, but here you go. All right, let's see what you guys said. Big Blue. All right, Big Blue said. <laughs> oh, honey. Four Hondo, four Hondo. Mm. Michaela, what'd you say? I said 172. 172. Ivan? I said 100. One hundo, folks. She's on a little bit of a roll. One hundred and sixty-nine. That was three dollars wow. off. Three, Dang. technically less than three dollars. Less than three dollars is another five points to you. Wow, Kayla. very good stuff. She said she didn't like this round. Hmm. I'm usually sure not good at it. <laughs> she did say that. Well, very good stuff to you guys. That was the end of round one. As the points stand, as of right now, we have Caden in last place with a big fat donut. We have Ivan in second place with 10 points. 
And then the first is our quiz club champ, 25.5 for Michaela, the current quiz club champion. Now we're going to run. We're going to run. We're going to run as fast as we can. Um, it has nothing to do with the next round, but uh, the second round of quiz club is, uh, Honestly, uh, it's a bop of a song, and I had to make it into a round, even though it makes no sense besides one word. And it is Concrete Jungle Wet Dream Tomato. Now, how this game is played, I give you guys a movie or a TV show, whatever it is. Uh, you guys have to tell me the critic Rotten Tomato score and the audience Rotten Tomato score. Uh, each answer is five points. If you get both of them, it is ten points. This is no one's double point round, so there's no chance we're throwing out 20s and stuff like that, thankfully. <laughs> this is really how people uh, catapult in first place. Uh, but this will be five points for closer to either one. If you get the closer to both, 10 points. Uh, nice. Um, now, I did... You know what? I will give you guys... How about this? I will give whoever can tell me the link between these films. This is really funny how we talked about link because it was a, a trivia question last night. If you guys tell me the link between these next five films, I will give you an additional two points. If you can tell me the link between Make these five, five you got yourself films. A deal. Nice. All right. Well, the first film, this is going to be pretty easy, right? You're never going to have no problem figuring out what the link is. It is Avengers Endgame. Now, tell hmm. me the critic score, the audience score for Avengers Endgame. Um, cool. So for critics, audience, Michaela, let's see what you had said first. What did you say for both? Uh, I didn't put which one was critics, but my critic is uh, 89 and my audience is 92. 89, 92. Mm. All right. For Michaela. Uh, yes, Michaela. I'm really trying to like, I did not format how to do these. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, Ivan, what'd you say? For critics, I said 62% and audience 90%. Damn, 62. It's pretty low. It's pretty low. Yeah, no, I, I didn't know what to put. I felt like they hated Honestly, it. Honestly, Ivan, you're probably not. You're probably not off. <laughs> I, I, I hate I, it. I know critics liked it. It's the highest rated critic, I believe. Oh, uh -oh. Don't quote me on that. Spoiler uh -oh. alert. <laughs> uh -oh. um, Kaden, what did you say for critics audience for Avengers oh. Endgame? Big blue. <laughs> right. uh, we got uh, critics 90, 87 and audience 98. 87, 98. Hmm. Uh, let me just do this real quick. That's for Avengers Endgame. That is a 94 critic, 90 audience. That is five points to wow. Ivan's audience. Five points Ooh. to Caden. No. No. Oh. Five points to Michaela for critics. I apologize. Caden does not get points. I apologize. Caden's not here. I don't know why you keep bringing him Big up. Big blue. Big blue. Caden. Oh, I didn't get any place. points? No. Dude. Wait. Who got closer for audience? I'm Ivan. I was Ivan was on the dot. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ivan was on the dot. Ivan, 10 points. Oh, oh for he, was, he was bang on the money. Bang on the money for retired. audience. And you were closest between. <laughs> <laughs> old, dude. Get a little, I'm get a little season, dude. I'm like Logan right now. Uh, very good stuff. That is ten points to Ivan. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! God. <laughs> Damn, we were in the bag just then. God. <laughs> Jesus, I've never been ear raped in my life. You have to put a disclaimer like at the beginning of this. Video. Literally. <laughs> sensitive to anyone with volume on all right hilarious all right, there we go all right. are we good are we good yeah these things are, are good, good aren't they all right good. <laughs> it's good it's just sense okay i feel like i'm in a colonoscopy all right uh next film it is ant-man and the wasp quantum oh. mania oh i haven't seen this yet go ahead and tell me what you think the critic score and the audience score is point update, by the way. Kayla's at 30.5. Ivan's at 20. Caden has a chance. Sorry, Big Blue has a chance of breaking the record of the least amount of points scored in a quiz club today. I was thinking about that. I was like, I could. I could roll up with a big fat zero. <laughs> yep, could happen today. Uh Caden, let's start with you. What'd you say for audience? What'd you say for critic? Good sir. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> big blue. Sorry, big blue. Yeah. yeah. Damn, this man doesn't learn. That's crazy, dude. That's okay. <laughs> Not all day. I said uh, 67 critics, 86 uh, audience. 67, 86. Michaela. It's it's forty seven eighty three. Forty seven eighty three. Ivan. Oh. I said sixty seventy three. Sixty seventy three. I think for uh for good old quantum mania. I think she's uh, she's banging on the money. That is forty seven eighty three. Oh. That is exactly what it is. Ten wow. points to Michaela for both. Very good stuff. Wow. That was one of the study ones. Good job. Good job. How did you study Quantumanium? Like, what made you do that? Uh, it's one of the movies that are currently out. Oh, it's still out? It's still well, out. Jeez. It's still out and things that were recently released. Yeah. Oh, word. Okay, I got you. Cool. And always a good thing to study MCU ones with Dante. Very true. Oh, <laughs> right, nice. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Phil. It is uh, an animated movie I haven't seen in a very long time. Monsters vs. Aliens. Ooh. Go ahead and tell me the critic score. I've only the seen this score. like this is when a... it was in theaters. <laughs> nice. Yeah, movie. Movie too. I did not see this in theaters. I, I, we bought the uh, the DVD. <laughs> On the DVD for it. Nice. Yep. And the video game was fun too. Now the video game is really fun. Go and tell me the critic and audience score. I will say the part that really cracks me up from this movie is Seth Rogen's uh, performance where he's like, he's like, what are you looking at? He's like, I'm sorry, man. I'm just sharing this bird over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Seth Rogen is too much. He's it's too fun. I'm excited to see his uh, Donkey Kong tonight. All right. Uh, Monsters vs. Aliens. Ivan, uh, if you have it, let's see what you said. Well, I went <laughs> with. 70% for critics, 85 for audience. 70, 85. Michaela, what'd you say? I said 52, 78. 52, 78. Big Blue, what did you say for critic and audience? I said critics, 56, audience, 87. 56, 87. Let me do the math really quick. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. All right. I can confirm for Monsters vs. Aliens. The critic score, 74%. That is five points to Ivan. Uh, 59 audience what? score. That is five what? points to Michaela. Not a lot of people like the movie. Not a lot of people wow, like it. Wow, interesting. That's very interesting. I thought a lot of people would enjoy it a little bit more. Uh, I'm surprised if you guys remember, critics is higher. Yeah. Can you guys remember off the top of your head what uh, animation studio did this movie? Is it, Dream? I thought it was DreamWorks? I thought it was DreamWorks. Is it DreamWorks? Okay, it is DreamWorks. Okay, cool. Uh, nice. That is five points to Michaela, five to Ivan. All right, next film. This is a film that actually I've only seen once. I really enjoyed it. Going along the uh, the Seth Rogen train, I guess we could say. It is Knocked Up from the director of The 40-Year-Old Virgin. I'm not seen Go ahead this. and tell me. Really? you never seen Knocked Up? Oh, shoot. I'm not. It, it is. Basically. Go ahead. Parts are funny. <laughs> they're, yeah, it's basically they, you know, they're they're they have like a relationship, or are they just like one night stands, and then they end up falling in love because they get knocked up. It's it's actually a really funny movie. Go check it out. It's it's a good. One. Okay, uh, but go ahead and tell me critic score, audience score. Up, we're gonna go to Big Blue. Big Blue critic audience. What did you say? I said critics gave it a seventy six, and so did audiences. It was a big kumbaya moment, and there was world peace for about eight seconds. Nice. Okay, seventy six, seventy six. <laughs> Bless you, oh, Ivan. What did you say for critics audience? I went with 68-77. Michaela? Well, I also went with 76, but I put 80. Ooh, 76 and 80. Uh-oh, we might have a race for that one. Let me let me check. Let me do my homework. All right. I can confirm. It is an 89 critic, 83 audience. That is 10 points to Michaela, 5 to Caden. Caden is on the scoreboard. There we go. There you go, Caden. You're on the scoreboard. I think it's Big Blue. Sorry, Big Blue. You're on the scoreboard. (laughs) Oh, my God. That's a blitz. Yay. Yay. 
Very good stuff. You got some points there. Good stuff. And I'm right. still five away. I still need to get at least five more. Otherwise, I still take the role of like the least points scored. Yeah. That's what crazy. is the least points? Like, Did we both get the 76 one? Yeah, you guys both got 76. Uh, the least is yeah. uh, the least. The record for the least amount of points is Calwin with 10 points. Oh, on okay. Yep. Had a couple people close. I think Joe got 13 one time. Audrey got 11. So we've been close, right? But uh, Audrey Calvin got 11? Right? She got 11. Yeah. Wow. Last film. This is the 2021, I believe, Ghostbusters Afterlife. I didn't see this. I absolutely loved this movie. Hmm. Nice. Uh, for I two points, to, can anyone buzz yeah. in really quick to tell me the, the link between the five films? I think what's his face is in all of them. Paul Rudd. That is two points. Two nice. Dang, points. Good job. Two wow. Points. Very good stuff. Very good, very, good, very good catch, Big Blue. Very good catch. Mm, good catch. All right. Uh, critic score, audience score. Go ahead and write those down. Figure out what you guys think. All right. Ivan. What did you say for critic and audience for this film? I went with 74, 76. 74, 76. Michaela. I know the audience liked it and the critics tanked it. So I think Ooh. it's 72 and 90. 72 critic, 90 yeah. audience. All right. Uh, big, big Blue, what'd you say? I said critics. Uh, 68, audience 86, the old flipper ripper Rooney. Mm -hmm. 68, 86. All right, give me one second. All right, I can confirm. 63 critic, 94 audience. Ooh. That is five points to Big Blue. Five points to Michaela. Very good. I knew the critics didn't like it. I didn't know the critics hated it that much. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, as the points stand, as of the end of round two, very good stuff to you guys. Uh, in third place is Caden with 12. Uh, sorry, Big Blue with 12. Big Blue with 12. Very good stuff. The past, the, you're not going to be holding the record today. Very good stuff. Uh, in second place is Ivan with 25. Very good stuff, Ivan. And in first place is our quiz club champ, Michaela, with 60.5 points. Lord. All still to play for. All still to play for. Well, Ivan, this is the first time I'm telling you about this. We have, uh, let's see, I added a new category, by the way. I have eight categories where Quiz Club Awards, these are just awards that if I was the Academy and I had an ego that as big as this freaking, this earth, I mm -hmm. was basically voting on what, what I think um, the best, the, the, what are the superlatives of Quiz Club. Um, there were eight categories. I will go over the categories. Um, I'll go over the nominees as well. Just people that I think really deserved each of these um, nominations and stuff. Some of them are just one nomination. You can clearly tell who won that, those ones. Uh, I have eight categories. Uh, the eight categories are best tag team underdogs, mm. uh, which, no, I'll, I'll go over them when I announce them. But uh, best tag team underdogs, best solo underdog, best quiz club episode, best return. This was a new one. Best rivalry. <laughs> best hero, best villain, and best quiz club champion. This is mm. of the past year, so I have officially awarded some winners. Uh, best quiz, or no, best tag team underdogs. The nominees were Anna Monet and India Lamar for House of Evangelista, and mm. Kai Thaw Roberts <laughs> and Calvin Martin, Blood oh. Sweat Tears. The winners of the uh, the tag team underdogs. It is Kai, Fire Roberts, and Calvin Martin. I wish Calvin was here to see it. Blood, sweat, and beers, yeah. Blood, sweat, beers, the current tag team champs. Uh, yeah, so they, they won the best tag team underdogs. Uh, next would that. be, best next would be the best solo underdog. I had uh, three, actually three nominees, because I added a nominee last night. And it was mm. actually you, Ivan. Oh. Uh, the, the, two, the three nominees were Jillian Brown, Ali Rusgani, and Ivan Borkukwelli hmm. for sol best solo underdog. It was Jillian Brown. Okay, for her, okay. For her quest, her quest of the title. She was like, "Wow, are you saying I'm dumb?" And I was like, "No, no, it's not <laughs> saying." He's I definitely just told someone you shouldn't like count out for sure. You definitely, definitely should not, not count out Jill. Yeah, she definitely she's not. won her fair share of, of quiz clubs. She, previous tag team previous uh, quiz club and cash in winner. She is, I think the only person that is quiz clubs, grand slam champion, which means they won the title. 
the tag team title, and she's been a cash in winner. She's the only person to do oh. all three. So, yeah, I love her t shirt. I love Cho. I also love, I love Cho. Cho. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next was the best quiz club episode. This one was a little tough. Uh, I had three to choose from. This one was actually really hard. Uh, quiz Club 13 was the episode Jill hosted. Quiz Club yeah. 35 was the Wales versus USA episode. And Quiz Club 40, which was the Oscar episode. I had to go with my gut. I had to go with my heart. This was the episode I felt had the best storyline through it. And was the Quiz Club 35 Wales versus USA <laughs> episode. That was featuring so featuring you, uh, Michaela and Ivan and Jake versus uh, the Wales boys, where we really thought Wales was going to win, and then they, <laughs> it's one point <laughs> loss. Kane, they lost by one point. Team Wales did. So it was like, yeah, like that. It was, it was way closer was than I kind of thought it would be. It was very close. It was very close. Very close. Uh, next one was Best Quiz Club Return. This one had oh, two yeah. nominees. Ty Thai Roberts in episode 12. We forget how, how surprising that was because Kai was like, I'm done. I'm done with Quiz Cup and then came back. And then same thing, the same storyline. Caden said, I'm done. And it came back on episode 40. Uh, this one was a no-brainer. It is Caden McGlasson. <laughs> Big Blue for his Quiz Club return at episode 40. That was, that was uh, what I thought was the best Quiz Club return. Very good stuff. That was really good. Uh, next- Next was oh, I, don't get a, best... I don't get an acceptance speech. That's cool. All right, oh. acceptance speech. Big Blue, go ahead. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh! All right, take two. Uh, Kate and like it was Club 40. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. It's a fun uh, place, I'd like to thank the Academy for this award. I'd like to thank <laughs> all of my... Uh, nominees. Yeah, you guys did so great too. Um, oh, God, it's real. Oh, um, <laughs> I just, I don't, there's no words I can really put in this thing. Oh, God, it's great. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. This is a big nice. win for nice. Americans. Thank nice. you. Nice. I love it. You love to see it. There you go. Quiz Club Return. Uh, the next one was best quiz club rivalry. There was no real threat. We knew it was going to happen. It was Michaela Eskew and mm. Ryan Wayne. I felt like that was literally the one v ones that we never thought we needed until we saw that hot potato. Go ahead, take the it's... picture. There it is. Best rivalry. Uh, Michaela, do you have a little acceptance speech for us for this one? We'll I mean, speech. we've talked about how we you, we make you guys each know the other... Batman. Say- he is the we make each other both simultaneously better and worse. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, we we do have a rivalry on the show, but we 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 both are really, really into good. Survivor, so we talk reg- pretty regularly about that and stuff. So uh, no hate; it's completely on the show. It is completely on the show. It, it is just completely on the show. I have but, a question. This is not this is not to big up my ego. I just have a question. D- is uh-huh. this show what really spawned you guys becoming friends? Well, no doubt. Like, did you, guys, did you guys know? Okay. Okay. Nice. We we had cool. never met. Like, Good I don't job. think. <laughs> yeah, I no, don't. I don't, I don't think, think you guys have ever met. I would have. Was... <clears throat> well, we wouldn't have. Well, maybe I would have met with the the Marvel stuff if you would have invited both of us to to showing Jake the Marvel stuff. All but, right, but, All right. <laughs> but without the show, I wouldn't have known he was into Survivor. Yeah, that's and, true. You know, Good we point. went to that event and stuff like that, and so I, I, it's very doubtful we would have really ever interacted. Very doubtful if it wasn't for this show. Yeah, nice. Um, cool. Uh, also, I have – oh, I'm missing a category. I lied. I had nine categories. Where's that category at? There it is. Did I not add this one? I didn't. Oh, shoot. Let me hype this man up real quick. Uh, also, after that, we have Best Quiz Club Comeback. This one was a no-brainer. It is the episode eight. Oh. Jake Jeffers, when he came back 80 points Woo! to win the title. That's no-brainer. Right. That was completely that – was, that, was that was the front runner from the get-go. Uh, I, I missed that for a second. But yeah, Jake, Jake won Best Quiz Club Comeback. That is easily one of the best highlights of Quiz Club, to my mind. 
Uh, next, best quiz club. I need a hero. Now, this hey. one was Kai Thai Roberts, Jillian Brown, or Jake Jeffers. I had to go with the hero carrying Calvin on his back, Kai yeah. Roberts. <laughs> Plus, he's always here to have some fun. He's, he, is, he is the embodiment of what a hero is on Quiz Club. Um, so we love to see it. And the opposite, Quiz Club villains. Oh. I had three. And Ryan Wayne, Caden McGlasson, and a little baby villain in the making, Ollie Rizgani. He's really rubbing off on Ryan a little bit. Uh, this <laughs> one was a no-brainer as well. He is easily the the uh he's the thanos of quiz club it is ryan wayne clearly undis un undisputed he literally was teamed up with ollie where they both got points and he sold the round so ollie would not catch up to him in points that's how bad of a villain ryan is <laughs> Good I, of a villain ryan is as well. I wasn't on that episode but i watched it i'm like oh my gosh i'm like it's an amazing move it's so intelligent but it's also like Oh, <laughs> yeah. yep. Uh, nice. And then finally was the quiz best quiz club champion. I added. I now I I did add you, Michaela. I added you a few days ago to the running. So the nominations: Matthew Monaco, Kaden McGlasson, Ryan Wayne, and Michaela Eskew. This one I was really struggling. I was really struggling to figure out who deserves this i feel like you guys all deserve this you guys have all been killing it i had to obviously you have ryan wayne's 57 day reign the longest i had to keep that in mind but i had to take him out because four time champs that's that's a feat so i had to keep the four feet four time champs in i can now officially say women's history month already passed but she is the only woman <laughs> to hold the champion four separate times. Michaela Eskew is Quiz Club's best Quiz Club champion and current Quiz Club champion. There she I is. almost didn't make it into the noms, too, if I didn't win last week. <laughs> That's true. That's yeah. true. Very good stuff. Yeah, so Michaela was, in my mind, the best Quiz Club champion. Very good stuff. I'm very excited to show them. Boom! So that's really fun. All right, y'all. Well, we are back. Welcome back to Quiz Club. We are uh, entering our third round, but before we do that, we'll just review the points. As of right now, Kane is in third. Uh, Big Blue. Sorry, Big Blue. Big Blue. Third place with 12 points. Uh, Ivan is in second place with 25. Michaela is in first with 60.5 points. We are going quickly into our third round. We're actually doing pretty good with time today, uh, but time is of a factor for this next round because it is the fast and furiously rapid now how this round is played if you need a little refresher basically i i set the timer to two minutes i rapid fire movie synopsis you have to tell me the <laughs> copyright we're about to get flagged <laughs> uh, you tell me what the movie is uh, you tell me what the movie is based off the synopsis i say blank if it is a title character or a title location um, I'll try my best to figure out where to blank and where not to blank. Uh, yeah. If it's Asgard, I probably won't say Asgard. Um, although it depends. If it's a very vague synopsis, I'll probably say something like, uh, you know, I'll probably say like a location. Blank to blank, 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 blank. Right. You've had a couple that are like more yeah. words blank than yeah. actual words. <laughs> this is true. This is a good point. Also, you have five seconds. When you buzz in, you have five seconds to give me your answer. Ivan and Big Blue. This is your chance to buzz in before Michaela does because you oh, guys yes. need these points. Double this is her double point round. So every oh. movie she gets correct is six points to her, three to you guys. <sighs> they just buzz in and take the five seconds. It's so annoying. <laughs> I hate it. That is I an option. Like, I feel like it should be instant. instant. I feel like there shouldn't be the five seconds, but I've said that before. Oh, and you, you have said that before. Yeah, because if you are buzzing, you should know the – Yeah. I'll give you a five fair, second, fair, it, fair, but fair. I give you the five seconds. I give you the five seconds. Okay, I, that's three. A, I feel like it's enough time. That's enough time to give the brain. I, I have a process. speech impediment. I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I need seven. All right, uh, let's get into it. I have f how many movies do I have? We'll do two and a half minutes. I have fourteen movies, Great. so fourteen synopsis. I will be reading. Let me set my time to two and a half minutes. Uh, are you guys ready? <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. All right. <sighs> okay. 
two and a half minutes on the clock. All right. Uh, when I get the first buzz in, I will start the time. I don't start it on the first me reading it. I will start on the first buzz. All right. First film. When three friends finally come to a racist night of bachelor party revelry, they find Kaden. a baby in the closet. Caden? Hangover. It is the hangover time begins. Next film. Uh, world famous detective blank heads to Greece to peel black the layers of a mystery surrounding a Michaela. tech billionaire. And is it Michaela? Um, Death on the Nile? It's not Death on the Nile. Ooh. Oh, we get to guess. Does time stop? Is time paused right now? Or is it outside? I will pause. I will, well, I will. No, I, time continues. But if you guys want to skip, you got to let me know. Yeah, skip a detective and a billionaire. I don't fucking. Oh, is it? It's not the mummy, is it? It's not the mummy. Oh, <laughs> Ivan? I got nothing. Skip. All right. Skipping. That was Glass Onion. Next film. Uh, oh. Blank reluctantly becomes the symbol of a mass rebellion against the autocratic capital. Skip. 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 That was Hunger Games Mocking J Part 1. Next film. A small suburban town receives a visit from a castaway unfinished science experiment named Blank. Skip. 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 That was Edward Scissorhands. Next film. <laughs> uh, blank. A domesticated 900 pound grizzly bear finds himself stranded in the woods Kaden. three days Ivan. before. Caden? Cocaine bear? It is not cocaine bear. Oh, Ivan? Yeah. Nope. Skip. <laughs> uh, the Revenant? <laughs> It's not the Revenant. Next film, that was open season. Next film. God dang it. That was my second guess. I didn't. I don't, oh, dang. Uh, 15 years after murdering his sister on Halloween night, 1963. Michaela. escapes from it. Michaela? Halloween 2? I don't know if that's. Not Halloween 2. Kaden? Halloween? It is Halloween. That is correct. Oh, Next film. I forgot that. Okay. <laughs> On a quest to find out what happened to his missing brother, a scientist, his nephew, and their mountain guide discover a fantastic and dangerous lost world in the center of the earth. Caden. Caden? Trying to the center of the earth. That is correct. Three oh, yeah. more yeah. points. Next film. Uh, jokes fly as the blank takes on the nerd, nerd Lux in a hard court game to decide if the blanks remain here or become attractions at Michaela. a far off galactic. Michaela? Oh, it's not what I thought it was. Shoot. What the fuck I don't know. I was going to say dodgeball. <laughs> and then I heard galactic. It's not dodgeball. Fortunately. Ivan can balls you of fury? Keep going. It's not balls <laughs> of fury. Ivan? Uh, monsters vs. Aliens. It's not monsters vs. Aliens. That was Space Jam. Next film. Oh! Uh, modern treasure hunters led by an archaeologist blank searches Kaden. for a chest of riches. Caden? Oh. Uh, I, I uh, have it. Indiana Jones? Jones. Not Indiana Jones. Oh. oh. Mm. Uh, this might be some semantics, but Indiana Jones, the Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's not the Raiders of the Lost Ark, Ivan. <laughs> Throw out a guess. <laughs> Modern treasure Indiana hunters Jones led by ble- archaeologists. <laughs> not Indiana Jones too. That one was National Treasure. Oh, oh that was National my second guess. Yeah. Time has expired, but I will. Uh, I like the. I, li- I always do this. I, the time expires, then I keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Uh, next film. Uh, in director Blank's contemporary take of William Shakespeare's classic tragedy, the, uh, the Blanks and the Blanks, Caden? The um, Romeo and Juliet. That is correct. Three more yeah. points to Caden. Next film. Wow. Uh, two codependent high school seniors are forced to deal with separation anxiety after their plan to stage a booze soap Kaden. party goes awry. Caden? Um, fucking uh, Project X. It's not Project X. Oh, shit. Hmm. I'll say it again. Two codependent high school seniors are forced to deal with separation anxiety after their plan to stage a booze-soaked party goes awry. I'm pretty sure their time ran out. It's been five seconds. I got nothing. That one was super bad. Next film. Uh, Each time you say it, I'm like, of course it is. (laughs) Next film. Following a zombie outbreak in Las Vegas, a group of mercenaries ultimate gamble. Caden? Oh, in Las Vegas? Oh, uh, I'm just going to say, is it uh, Zombieland 2? It's not Army of the that Dead. Too. Ivan, it is Army, Army of the Dead. Three points. Oh, I never saw Ivan. that. I never saw next, that. Movie. <laughs> next really film. Good. This is the last film. First one to get it. During a manned mission to Mars, Blank is presumed dead after a fierce... Caden? The Martian. 
It is the Martian. Dang. Another. At least you had it right. Points. At least I had it right. Very <laughs> good stuff. You guys really took double points away from Michaela there. Yeah, Very I got zero. Stuff. Zero points there, yeah. Oh. Zero points. Uh, Ivan had three out of that round. Caden had 15. Very good, good job. Big blue, 15. Uh, let me do the points real quick. Uh, nice. Ooh, it's getting close over there in, in second and third place right now. Yeah. All right. But... Very <laughs> good. As the points stand. At the end of round three, there's a quick round. Very good stuff. The end of round three. As the points stand. In third place. Caden with 27. Second place, Ivan, 28. And in first place, it's Michaela with 60.5. Very good stuff, you guys. Very good stuff. Should be should be exciting to see how this how this plays out. How this plays out. Caden is Caden's a, a AFK. AFG. AF, away from game. Uh, but before we oh 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 all right. Put the points in the bag. Put it in the bag. All right, that's I how many? Oh. All right, I was going right. <laughs> to... Um, very good stuff. Uh, the final round, Quiz Club. He is back. Final round of Quiz Club. Time is again of the essence. This would have been a, little, a lot more fun with six people, but with three, we can still make it work. Folks, it's all about that final 60 seconds. It is Quiz Club Minute. <laughs> now, how this one's played... You guys get a plot or a topic to talk about for 60 seconds. You cannot repeat words, but you can repeat the topic. So let's say, for example, the topic is the plot of the Dark Knight. You can repeat words like the plot of the Dark Knight, but you cannot repeat Batman, Joker, Arkham. You cannot repeat words like that. Uh, you can also, you can say I am and they, they, he, she, her, they, them, all that good stuff, pronouns, stuff like that. Um, conjunctions, the, a, and, all that stuff. And, that's fine. But uh, anything else you cannot say. Adjectives, nouns, you cannot repeat. Uh, you cannot deviate. You cannot talk about a different project. Or you cannot talk about what the movie's not about. So if you don't know the movie, that's going to suck. That, that would fall under deviation. And then you cannot hesitate. No ums, no uhs, no pauses. I will be judge, jury, executioner for those pauses, by the way. <laughs> uh, also, every, I think it's every, let me see. Every 10 seconds is three points. If you challenge someone else, and it is a correct challenge, the person who challenged is two points. If it is an incorrect challenge, the person who got challenged gets two points. So points can go all over the board here. Um, yeah, and that's how they play. Uh, is there any questions on how this round is played? Also, uh, let's say, for example, Ivan's going yada, 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 yada. Michaela challenges him. Michaela can start from scratch. She can talk about what she wants to say. Uh, she does not have to worry about repeating what Ivan said, but she does have to worry about um, if Caden, for example, challenges her, Caden challenges, he jumps in. If Michaela challenges back, she cannot repeat any words that she previously said. And if she goes again, let's say, so she goes a second time. So she challenged Ivan. She had it, loses to Caden. She takes it back. She needs to pick up where she left off. She cannot start over. So if you basically, if you challenge and you're in the ball court a second time, you have to continue where you left off. This game is also about like catching people on, on their toes, also memory. So if you remember what people are saying and where they're saying it, it really catches you. I've seen too many people play this round and especially Ryan Wayne. I don't think he does really good, but there have been a couple times where he has repeated a lot of words and no one's caught him. No one's caught him. <laughs> So, this is my uh, we'll least see, we'll favorite see. round by far. Nothing's close to how much I hate this round. <laughs> this should be fun. Uh, any questions on how this round is played? I think I, I approached everything when it came to that. Any questions so far? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, now, this is where it gets tricky because I thought we were going to have four people, so this is going to be really tough because this uh, – we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. I'll do it with you, because I, I there's there, I can't I can't go around this. I need to do like a, I need to do a tag team. So everyone's gonna go solo by themselves once, and there's one, there's one where it's a tag team one. Um, so technically there's five that we're gonna be doing. So each is going once, two teams. Uh, it is going to be me, and Michaela, since she's in first, and then is going to be uh Ivan and Caden, Ivan and Big Blue, sorry, uh, because they are second and third place. 
Um, Wait, why does there I need will... to be teams to do? Because there's, it's hard to explain. But I structured this thinking that we were going to have an even amount of people. So it yeah. needs to. There is two portions of the round. The the second part is where it's everyone goes once by themselves. Mm -hmm. The first portion is there's two, and it's a tag team and a tag team. So you have oh, chances okay. of getting points, and then a solo chance of getting points to end off. Uh, but I I will gladly play with Michaela if you'll let me. Will you let me play? Yes, that's fine. I just right. don't like that one v two shit. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, uh, give me one second. I'm scared. I my stream my, my stream yard went a little awry. Hold on. I got you. Okay. Um. Nice. So, uh, I'll I'll play. Let me let me jump in. I'll play with some points. Should I play with some points this round? I there's no way that I would know the answers because it's just like it's on my toes. So I'm, I'm joining the arena, y'all. This is the first uh -oh. time I was just playing while while hosting. Isn't that a first? So hang on, I have a question. I just wanna I just wanna make sure. Hold on. So let's say so it's Michaela and Dante, and let's say I'm like, uh, uh and Dante goes, stuttering. Do you both get a point or do you get a point, Dante? Technically, I would also get a point. I'm just throwing that up there for the shits and giggles. Okay, so I'm not pause, actually gonna I'm pause, not a I'm not in a race. Hold on. I know, I know, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So then it still is a one v two. Because But I'm helping I'm helping Michaela without being able to gain from points. Like I'm putting that up there for shits and giggles, but it's not officially, I'm not going to officially put this in. Like if I win, <laughs> there's no shot. I'm there. Like if, I'm if there. Ivan think of it like touches us, you get a point too. Unofficially. Yes. Unofficially. Think of me. Okay. Think of you and Ivan, obviously as a tag team. Think of me and Michaela as Michaela and a crush. Like I I'm here simply for the fact that we are uneven, but I'm still going to be playing. It's just mm -hmm. I can add points. They're just not. They're like diet points, right? Yeah, so but you don't thing, get points yourself. Exactly. She gets the points, but you don't get the points. Technically, yeah. So she has basically thinking about it. She has more. She has something to gain. I don't. Basically, uh, okay. I'm just there, so it's not. I'm just there, so it's not unfair. I was gonna. I was gonna be a little toxic with Kayla, but I'll help you out. <laughs> do what you do. If it was any do other round, I would say that's fine. But with yeah, this, this one, game, yeah. the, the round that gives me the most anxiety, like I was fine the rest of this game. As soon as you said it, like literally I like wanted to throw up. I hate this round. <laughs> it gives me such stress. <laughs> that this round does. Is, this one's, that this does. Too. It's supposed to be 73 today. We should go to the beach. Let's go to the beach, beach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nicki Minaj. All right. Um, I, I'm going to, I'm going to offer it to, um, well, Ivan's the second mouse, second most amount of points actually did we even go over the points real quick there we go 27 Caden, 28 ivan 60.5 i think i already did that but ivan since you have the most points out of your team you and michaela you guys decide who would like to go first who would like to go second out of the teams uh Caden, how you feeling i mean big blue how you feeling thank you uh big blue is feeling big and blue um <laughs> Ivan, whatever you're thinking, I'm probably thinking it too. Let's say it on three together. You ready? One, right. two, three. three. Michaela. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> nice. All right, Michaela, you're gonna we're, we're gonna start us off. We're gonna start That's off. Good. I will try my best. Um, I will try my best. How about that? Uh, also, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is the this is the this is a little nostalgia return of uh, Ivana Hupalot from all those episodes ago. Yeah, yeah there you go. All right. Um, Michaela, heads or tails? Uh, tails. Okay. Michaela, we will, me and you, it's not a plot or synopsis. This is, we are going to be stating an argument of why Halloween won the best of horror franchise tournament. This makes me feel a little bit better. Okay. All right. Caden, Ivan. What? Make sure you guys are keeping on it. Make sure you guys are keeping on it. Obviously, I'm playing. You with just Michaela, make sure you're keeping on point scoring. That's a good point. Sir. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I got the timer, yeah. so trust me. I've I've got a couple things I'm worrying about here. So, um, why don't you have Jill be a stand-in for like two seconds? She is busy. She is busy. Wow. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> are you guys? Are you ready, Michaela? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get it. All right. Um, who do you want to start, me or you? Uh, you can start. 
Oh shit. Okay. And it's one word, right? One word at a time. And we're bouncing okay. back and forth. We cannot repeat words as a team. Oh, okay. this is one Ready? Yeah. All right. I will start my time when I start speaking. I'll start it. Halloween. 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 Is the winner of the best bracket Kaden. tournament. Kaden. That was hesitation. That was hesitation on bracket. I'll give it a little hesitation. Yeah. A little hesitation. But I was Kayla, expecting you... a different word. Uh, that was <laughs> a little less, little less than 15 seconds. I'll round it up. So that is four and a half points to you, Michaela. Very good stuff Oof. to you. Uh, Ivan and Kaden, you guys have... 47 seconds to play with. You guys can start over. Whenever All you right. guys start talking, whoever wants to go first, I'll start the time. Ivan, mean, you've seen Halloween, right? Which one? It does not matter because I've okay. seen none. So you're going to be taking the reins. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's been a minute. We, we could try it. Okay. We could try it. Oh, God. Yeah. Here we go, dude. Whoever goes, I start. <laughs> I'll, I'll, no, you start so you get nouns. I'll get conjectures. Halloween. Is the greatest franchise of the bracket because it's had a <laughs> hesitation. Hesitation. I'll call. I'll call that. I'll call wrong, that. Bro. Uh, you guys went 20 seconds. Six points to you guys. Very good stuff, you guys. Uh, also, <laughs> really well. quick, uh, correct challenge, by the way. I forgot to give you those points. So that is two points plus six. Correct challenge for Michaela. That is another two points to us. So very good stuff. Michaela, we have 28 seconds to play with. Okay. And we can't repeat. Correct. Okay. All right. Do you want me to start? Sure. All right. Michael. Myers. Is. The man he kills a, a hesitation. Oh, <laughs> it was a little bit hesitation. I was gonna say a lot, but up. I can't, I can't do two words. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, well, I, I, I would uh, give that one a pass. I would give it, yeah, I'd give that one a pass. I give that one a pass, but uh, fair enough. Correct challenge two points to you, gentlemen. 15 seconds for Michaela, that is 4.5 seconds again. Ivan and Caden, you guys have 15 seconds to play with. You guys cannot repeat what you just said. Michaela, make sure to catch him whenever okay. he gets ready. I'll go. That's time I want to go. I want to. I want to take. I want to steer the story. Okay. All right. We're gonna do what they did, and we're gonna start with Michael Myers. Is a killer who likes to kill a lot of people. In his and time, very good stuff. 15 seconds, 4.5 <laughs> points. You to took you the a lot, so I was like, Do I call it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you said you would have let me, so yeah, I was like, whatever. Uh, uh, let me just add up the points. Very good stuff to you guys. Um, out of that, Ivan and Caden, you guys had 14.5 points. Michaela, you had uh, 11, 11, 11 points coming out of that. Very good stuff. You guys are, you guys are neck and neck right now. As the points stand, as of right now, um, third place, me, the 11. Fourth place, technically, unofficially. Uh, third place <laughs> is Caden with 41.5, big blue. Second place is Ivan with 42.5. Michaela is in first with 71.5. All still to play for because there are still four more uh, topics to get to. Now, Team Ivan Hubbelot, the reunion. <laughs> you guys will be starting us off. You guys will be doing and explaining why Toy Story 3 won the Pixar film tournament. Oh. All right. Whenever you guys are ready, decide who's going first, and then you guys can go. Mm. Have you seen Toy Story 3? I have, but it's been a long time. So I, I feel I like you were... I love that movie. I'll take All right. I'll take All right. Caden's taking the range. All right, Caden, whenever you start, I will start your time. Big blue. Uh, all right. Uh, toy. Story is the movie. Hesitation. Oh, uh, I won't. I won't call that just because there's a little bit of a lack. We do have really bad Wi-Fi right now, so I won't call that. 
I won't call, I won't give you points by the way, Caden. So you guys can continue. Not in rest mode. Is it off? It's in rest mode. Do you want me to turn it off? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll continue. You guys are at six seconds. Whenever you guys continue, I will finish. Continue the time. Okay. Just start. Yeah. So I'll just, I'll just go. I'll just go. Movie that entails the story of a bunch of. of I'm going to call myself a bunch of stewards. I'm calling myself. I'm a true player. Okay. I fair, play true and, fair, and humble. Fair. I, I, I was a little bit late. The story was said twice, but it had already been like two words <laughs> after. So I'm like, I can't say it now. Yeah. But we can say uh, Toy Story because it's the title, right? We can it say is Toy the title. That is correct. Can. They can oh, say because okay. it is part of the title. But good catch. That was two words, Caden. Uh, but 4.5 points to you guys. Um, very good stuff. Uh, Michaela and me. It's up to us. Uh, do you want to start this time? Sure. All right. We have 44 seconds whenever you're ready. Toy. Story. Is. A. Great. Movie. Because. It. Has. Woody. And. Buzz. And. Slinky. Has a and. <laughs> 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 all right i'll give that i'll give ivan you were gonna say what were you gonna say hesitation i'll give you yeah oh, i hesitate a little <laughs> i'm just gonna see how many toy story characters you could name oh, okay uh very good so we did 20, we, yeah 20 seconds that is six points to us two to a correct challenge for ivan and kaden you guys have 25 seconds whenever you guys are ready to continue remember you guys cannot repeat what you already have said where did we leave off at? So we left off at um, a. I was gonna say a bunch because Toy Story is a movie about a bunch. So we'll leave it at uh because I said uh, so you say bunch. All right, here we go. Okay. A uh, bunch of toys that go into a. Kindergarten. Hesitation. And it was yeah. hesitation. Gotta get the Very word good. right. <laughs> Fifteen seconds to you guys. Very good stuff. That is four point five points. Two for a correct challenge to Michaela and I. All right, we have ten seconds to play with. You ready? Yes. All right. Uh, I'll start us off. Lotso. Is. A. Bear. Who is mean time? And that was it. Good. Very good stuff. To us again. Uh, that is He's three points to me, isn't he? He's a big manie. He's a big manie. All right, let me go ahead and add up those points really quick. Give me one second. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, hold on. Uh, that was 11 points to Ivan and Caden. That was 11 points to Michaela. Very good stuff. 11 11. This version is a lot less stressful because at least I'm not in it alone. Yeah, but the, it's about to transfer. We're about to. Yeah. <laughs> about to. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> scary, scary, scary. As the points stand, fourth place is me with 22. Uh, third place is Big Blue, Caden, 52.5. A single point between second and third place. Ivan with 53.5. First place is Michaela. Uh, I think that's 19, no, 29, 29, 29 points ahead of Ivan, 82.5 points. I'm going to say it right now. There is a chance for anyone to win here. If this is Michaela's round that she does not play well, Ivan and Caden, this is a good, this is a chance because everyone's going once mm -hmm. solo. You can still buzz in. You can still challenge. There's a chance that we could have a new title or Kayla enters episode 44 quiz club champ who out of the three of you guys would like to go first me Aiden, big blue Woo. all right kaden pick a number one through three mm, dose. all right kaden right. you'll be explaining the plot and synopsis to the first John Wick. Oh, you guys are fucked. <laughs> That's like my favorite series. 
Nah, not my favorite. Obviously, Star Wars is, but you, you know what I mean. I love the John Wick yeah. series. All right, Caden. Whenever you are ready. Remember, no no uh, repetitions, no hesitations, mm-hmm. no deviations. They can challenge. They can take over. Same thing. If you get challenged on, and then you take the reins back, you challenge again. You cannot repeat what you have already said. So please be mindful of that. Okay. Caden, whenever you're ready, take your time. No more than a minute, but take your time. Whenever you start, I start your time. Okay. Go. A man sees a crashes into a car and sees a picture of his wife. Then a flashback hits. We're now transported three years later, and we see that he's very depressed. A dog comes in the mail, a dog named Daisy. And then... Um, Michaela. Michaela? You repeated dog. He did repeat Doggy. dog. He also, he also repeated C twice as well. So that is 15 uh, seconds, though, Caden. Very good stuff. 15 okay. seconds, 4.5 points to Caden. <laughs> All right, Michaela, you now have the reins. Like super well, <laughs> Michaela. Whenever you're ready, I continue your. T- Actually, give me one second because I accidentally reset the timer. Give me one second. Give me ten seconds, and then you could start. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right. Now, whenever you're ready. In the movie John Wick, his wife dies. Later, he receives a dog. That dog is his best dog. friend. You repeated dog twice. I did the that, same is correct, yeah. Yeah, that is a correct challenge. Uh, that Also, I did not give you two points for the correct challenge the first time. My apologies. Two points to Michaela for that. You did go a little less than 10 seconds, but I'll round it down because it was closer to 20 than 25. So that is 1.5 points. Two to Caden. Remember, you guys can slow down a little bit with the, with the speaking. You don't have to talk too fast. I know you guys will do that. Caden, you're back on the board. Uh, make sure to not repeat what you already said. I will. Uh, give me one second because I, again, reset the freaking clock. So, uh, yeah. Reset the freaking second. clock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, dude. All right. Whenever you're ready, I continue the time. Okay. Uh, Daisy. He then goes for a joyride in his Mustang where he meets a Russian who asks how much the car is. He says it's not for sale. The Russian gets pissed off and goes back to Michaela. his house. Michaela? The Russian was repeated. Yeah. That was a re- repetition of Russian. You said it. <laughs> you went 15 seconds again, Caden. Very good stuff. 4.5 points to you. Two to Michaela for a challenge. Michaela, you have 25 seconds to play with. John Wick is an ex-killer. He is very talented in his craft. When he later goes to a place. Question. Stop. Is he? Does that count? There's no way that counts. That's fine. That's That's a pronoun. I was about to say. I just wanted to say. I was like, there's no fucking way that counts, but I just wanted to check. All right. I'm sorry. Keep going. You're doing great. Continue whenever whenever you're ready, Michaela. When his puppy is murdered he decides to get back in the game that is not a good thing for him to do he (laughs) murders and time very good stuff very good stuff you did go the 25 seconds that is uh 7.5 points to you michaela very good stuff also she did say when twice right away when she got jumped back she did say when twice very good stuff very good stuff uh let me update the points after that one kaden you did go with 11 Again, uh, a minute. Minute. so it brings Caden up to 63.5. Uh, Michaela had for 5.5, 13 points coming out of that. Very good stuff. Mm. Michaela, you are uh, 4.5 points away from passing 100. Good lord. I also like you that think? you played part of one round and you don't have the least amount of points scored in a game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, let's not dig on Cal a little bit. Uh, also, as the point stand, I might as well just reveal it. As always, 22 to me. Uh, Ivan's in third with 53.5. 10 points ahead of him. Caden with 63.5. Michaela's in first with 95.5. All still to play for technically. Uh, Michaela, Ivan, who would like to go next? Uh, uh, oh, okay. All right, Michaela, 
Pick a number one or two. Uh, two. Two. Kayla, you will be explaining the plot and synopsis to Creed Two. Ooh. Oh shit! Uh, can I have a split right. second Take- to think? You have a split second to think. Whenever you start talking, I already got the time and all that set up. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Okay. Ready? Mm Mm-hmm. In Creed 2, a boxer named Adonis Creed goes up against another heavyweight champion of the world. Rocky Balboa was his mentor. He challenges another person to go against. He has a lot of challenges in his way. He has challenges. To... Repeated challenges. Is that mm, a thing? I don't know, dude. I didn't yeah, hear her say it the first time. No, I didn't no. hear. I didn't hear challenge. That is an incorrect challenge. Now. Two points to Michaela. Oh, challenge made me. Okay. You can continue. Sorry, keep going. Keep going, sport. You're How much great. time have I gone? You went 28 seconds so far. Oh, You're gosh. halfway there. <laughs> um, okay, ready? Yeah. He is a cocky person, and he <laughs> doesn't always listen to instructions, but he decides to go on instead. Now... Visitation? Yeah. That is hesitation. 40 wow. seconds for you. Very good stuff, Michaela. 40 seconds. That is three, six, nine, 12 points to Michaela on top of the two for the incorrect challenge. Correct challenge to Caden. That is two points. Caden, you have 20 seconds to play with. Big blues in the building. Big blues in the building. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see here. Let me think. I'm all wrapped up here. This is an 8XL shirt, by the way. Um, okay. Uh, go. Creed 2 is about a boxer named Adonis Creed who just is a piece of fucking shit and doesn't listen to his boxer coach guy. That name is Rocky Balboa, a.k.a. Sylvester Stallone. He's like, hey, man, you probably don't want to fight this guy. Okay, let- Deviation. And time, time. <laughs> but he, he got it now. <laughs> time. Also, he did say boxer twice, but no one called it out. Very good Ooh. stuff, though, Caden. Six points for that one. That was the end of the Creed Creed 2 one. Very good stuff. Let me add up those points. Eight points to Caden. 14 to Michaela. Good job. Good job. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. For imprisoning me. For imprisoning me. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> All right. As the point stands so far, oh wow! Uh, Ivan is in. Ivan is in third with fifty three point five. Caden in second with seventy one point five. Michaela is in first with one hundred and nine point five. There is still a chance for Caden to win. I think Ivan, you might be a little too far out, but there's a chance Caden could win here. But Ivan's up next. Ivan's on the chopping block now. Oh. Ivan's on the chopping block next. Ivan, you'll be explaining the plot and synopsis to Shazam. Come on. <laughs> uh, Frick, what the heck was his name? <laughs> I really liked the first one. First okay. One's one. First one's a lot of fun. Uh, Whenever you're ready, I start your time, by the way. Okay. Shazam is about a boy who lost his parents and ends up in a foster home where he feels that he isn't accepted in. So he be, he's a loner in this foster home. I repeat a foster Michaela. home. Michaela. I heard uh, Kate was a shame. Oh. Bro, how, Wait, no, I was me? just waiting for you no, to- No, 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 Michaela, but wait, Michaela, wait, 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 wait. He heard me, my mic was muted. But you he were, and I heard you through the wall. Okay. Dude, I, I, literally I literally heard you through stopped. the wall. I was like, I don't like my kid. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, how did he hear me? And I forgot. We're I literally did. right here. We're literally no, here on the other side of that wall. Yeah, that was, was not... that was insane. Shout out. Uh, what was it? What's the challenge, Caden? Uh, hesitation. 
It was hesitation. Like he did hesitate before he repeated. He hesitated. I, I was going to say repetition. Repetition. Yeah, repetition would also been it, but hesitation was first. That is uh, two for the what correct challenge. But Ivan, you went 15 Shit. seconds, four and a half points to you. Very good yeah. stuff. Caden, you have 45 seconds to play. You have a shot. You need to go the distance here. Got to go the good, distance. Dude. Maybe I'll just fuck around and waste my time, dude. <laughs> that big blue to do, dude. All right. All right, big blue. Let's see what you got. 45 seconds whenever you begin. I start your time. Shazam is about a boy who goes to the movie theaters and loses his parents. After that happens, he goes, he's like, I got to be the greatest in the whole world. So he becomes a symbol of hope, peace, and justice. He puts on a suit. He scares enemies in the dark. He faces multiple enemies that are magic. Michaela? He said enemies twice. He did say it. He also said... uh... I was describing the plot of Batman, so calm down, everyone. <laughs> I was going to say deviation. To oh, no, sorry. 20 seconds to Caden. That is Everyone let me just two. go. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why is no one stopping me? <laughs> you have 25 seconds, Michaela, whenever you're ready. Billy Batson is an orphan in the movie Shazam. He gets superpowers. When he says the word Shazam, he turns into a grown ass adult played by Zachary Levi. <laughs> he can fly. He has super strength. He catches a bus in his bare hands and shoots laser bolts into the sky. He has a buddy named uh, Freddy. And uh, never mind. And time. Oh. Very good stuff. <laughs> 25 seconds. 25 seconds. Very I don't good think- stuff. I don't think the character's name is Freddy. I think the actor's name is Freddy, but I couldn't yeah. remember. I, th- I also think that as well. Very good stuff, though. Very good stuff. Let me mm-hmm. update those points. That was the end of the round four. Very good stuff to you guys. Let me update those points. It went While you're updating the points. <laughs> what? What? While you're updating the points, listen to this. Coming back to settle the score for imprisoning me. That's my favorite line of Sylvester Stallone of all time. For imprisoning me, for losing me. Also, Caden, you had eight points out of that. Ivan had four point five. Michaela had nine point five. As the points stand, very good stuff to everyone who killed it. Uh, third, fourth place is me, twenty-two. In third place is Ivan with 58. Very good stuff to Ivan. Everybody give Ivan a couple claps. A couple claps for Ivan. Ivan, fun fact, the one episode I did officially play for Quiz Club, I scored 58 points. That was a little, oh. little, fun, little fun little niche. A little fun little niche right there. Uh, cool, in cool. second place is Big Blue Caden, 79.5 points. Very good stuff. Big Blue. Very good stuff to Caden. Very good stuff. And still... Our quiz club champion at 119 points. It is Michaela Eskew with the title. Very good stuff, Michaela. Everybody give claps to Michaela defending her title today. <laughs> very good stuff, you guys. This was this was a very fun, intimate, last minute, everybody canceled episode. But thank you guys for being here. Uh, again, as always, before we we head out, we'd like to see how you guys are feeling about the episode. Uh, Ivan, go to you first, good sir. Uh, it's been a while really quick. Besides this episode, I think the last time we had you on was was the USA versus Wales episode. Oh. That's crazy. It's been like, yeah, that's, what is that, nine episodes? Eight episodes. Yeah. Been eight episodes, good sir. Uh, yeah, welcome back. Uh, how was today's episode for you? I know it was a triple threat, so it was a little bit more intimate, but how'd you feel about yeah. it? Honestly, I thought it would have went a lot worse because I – I wasn't really prepared. I was kind of worried because of who I was going up against. I'm like, oh, I got to deal with Jake. I got to deal with Michaela. Then I saw the board. And I'm like, oh, Caden's here too. I'm like, I'm very worried. And then it, it went better than I thought it would. And I was like, I'm proud of myself. I'm, it's always a goal to break 20 and see where I can go from there. And I far achieved that. You did. 58. That's very good stuff. Very good stuff. Uh, Big Blue. Caden McGlass and King Caden. Uh, how was today's episode for you, good sir? Was uh was it was this one easier, or harder for you? How was it? The three people. Um, I feel like I feel like we just don't have enough world peace, man. Um, we literally, <laughs> I I sucked the first two rounds. The first two rounds, I, I didn't get anything. I fen- feel like had I, points, had I, yeah, I feel like 
I honestly might have might have gotten champion because the first the first round I got no points. I was like double points round. The second round I also got no points. Um, coming that close to what is that seventy five versus let's like let's bump her up to one twenty five. I was fifty points off. Um, oh, is that seventy nine or seventy seventy nine? Seventy nine points. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. So, 80, so basically, so eighty and one twenty, forty point difference. Yeah, yeah, so forty point difference, like that's could have got in the first round, yeah. especially for two rounds. That's only 20, that's only twenty points. That's you know per round, not yeah. bad. But I didn't know I didn't know nothing about the monies, and I didn't know nothing about critics versus audience. Yeah, I feel you there, man. Um, I got I got zero on my double points round too. That is a fact. That That's true. Effect. She did, yeah. You guys clean sweeps, Michaela, on that double play round she had. So then, just the just the critics and audience one. That's what that, that was. One's fall. Me. Yeah, yeah. That was hard. I will say, I will say for the three of you guys, this was probably one of your better episodes because you guys all are pushing your averages up. So, for example, Ivan's average was forty three point three fifty eight. Bumps his average up. Uh, Caden's average is sixty five point four with a score of seventy nine point five. That bumps your ad- average up. Michaela's average is eighty eight point eight. And then with a score of 119, that bumps her <laughs> average up. So good you guys job. really bumped up your averages today. Very good stuff to you guys. Bump it up. But I got to talk to the champ. It. You got it. Michaela. It's going to be a while until you defend your belt again, because next episode, it will not be a solo quiz club. We'll get to that uh, on a future future date when that gets revealed. Nothing's really been said just yet to the, the quiz club universe, but within eternally, we know what's happening. But Michaela, how are you feeling? Winning this episode, going into that next episode of Quiz Club Champ, how are you feeling uh, defending your title? Maybe you can uh, surpass Ryan's record. Maybe. We'll have to see. I mean, I'm just happy I've passed. I don't know if I've passed my 50% win-loss ratio. Since you did. I, with, this, this, with this win, you did. I don't know if I have in the past, but I'm pretty sure this is the first mm. time I've broken that 50% um, nice. ratio. Yeah. So... That's that's cool, and then also kicking Jake at us uh, second place. <laughs> yep. The yeah. stats are uh, always the most interesting thing to me. Yeah. Um, I know Ryan like strictly keeps the stats. He's like he yeah, knows. Yeah, he's yeah. He knows. He knows. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. There's like the OCD part of my brain where it's just like I have to calculate everything. It's so cool. It's like cool to see how well you guys do and stuff. Like the like, this is a fun fact. It's like such it's such a nonchalant thing, but it's a crazy thing. Caden has now passed fourteen hundred total points in his career. Like that's it's just stuff like that where it's just like points that it's just like it's insane. But yeah, Michaela, with this win, you are now at seven and six Quiz Club record. You now hold the record for the best Quiz Club record overall. So you you are now beating Ryan. He is at five and five. You are at seven and six. So that's a better record. So hmm. it was yeah. fun. It was fun. Well, today was a very good episode. I did before, I, and I forgot to say this in the in the episode, but I'll say it now. There are a couple of fun facts I did want to mention in Quiz Club, with the one year anniversary being today. Uh, I wanted to highlight some of these fun facts um, because I thought they were cool. Uh, fun facts on Quiz Club in the year in review. Uh, out of twenty, there have been twenty five people have competed in Quiz Club. Twenty five different people. Uh, me and Jill are the only two to have competed and hosted different episodes that that was a little fun fact um we have three quiz club cash in winners all all time three winners uh and they've all challenged champions with saki and jill being the two cash in winners to win the title on a cash in thought that was Mm -hmm. also cool and uh funny enough one of them was cashing on michaela her very (laughs) first episode she she played with us (laughs) cash in Saki yep, cashing my on first you. win. Six minutes. Oh, <laughs> yep. six six minute rain, which is the tie for the, the shortest, which is also funny. You and you and Matthew both getting cash in on the the shortest rains. Uh, also, another uh, fun fact: five tag teams have held the Quiz Club champion tag team championships. Jake holds the record for winning the titles on two separate occasions: one with Caden, one with Ivan. So uh, yeah, we got two of I- uh, Jake's side hoes here. <laughs> or two mains you never know two mains uh and uh last one out of 42 episodes played 10 people have held the quiz club championship uh those 10 people i want to highlight them because they the 10 people to hold the championship kaden kai jake ivan matthew michaela wasaki eric ryan wayne 
and Jillian Brown, the 10 people to hold the Quiz Club Championship. Out of 42, or sorry, out of 25 competitors, uh, the 10 of you guys have held the championship. All three of you guys, thankfully, in this, in this episode. Uh, six out of the 10, out of those 10, six of the 10 would continue to win more than one reign. And those six, Kata McGlasson, Kaitha Roberts, Matthew Monaco, Michaela Eskew, Ryan Wayne, and Jake Jeffers. Those are the six to win the title more than once. So fun facts, right? I just compiled some fun facts, throwing them in. So this was fun. This was Good fun. Job. Good thank job. you guys. Thank you guys as a big thank you to the three who actually showed up today. <laughs> thank you guys <laughs> for being here. Thank you for taking the leap of faith and just joining on this quiz game. I know we, we have too much knowledge and we just like to throw it out there and, and have some fun doing it. Um, thank you guys for the best year. Uh, quiz club has really done wonders for my mental health, um, for my creativity, for my social anxiety. Quiz clubs really helped me. And I thank you guys for that. Cause you guys have been there. Caden and Ivan, you guys have been there for the beginning. Michaela, we've really, our friendship has really grown through this, ep- through this show. So I really thank you guys for, uh, for playing quiz club, all these, all these episodes, hopefully for more episodes to come. So. I thank you. Guys. Thank you for the happiest thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Of course. Yeah. Pleasure. It was a pleasure. But if you guys want to say goodbye to the recording, we'll say goodbye to the people. Uh, to Quiz Club 43. Very good stuff. You guys have a good one. Take care. Say goodbye to the recording. Bye, everybody. recording. 40, 40. <laughs>